Don't move it. Okay. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Yeah, but we have two cameras Which going right now, so at? just look from both, whatever, it doesn't okay. matter. Anyway, so I'm Brittany, the younger sister, and this is Ashley, Hi. the older sister. I'm Dragon Chick. Yeah, and I'm half Joe and half Jack. But yeah, <laughs> she is 21, and I am 17. I know. Anyway, so we're here tonight <laughs> to talk to you about the fact that we are both lesbians. Lesbians. <laughs> anyway. Um, we both look like shit right now because, well, we were Pretty about much. to go to sleep and everything, but whatever, who cares. So, this is a vlog, I don't know, um, uh, my first one, so... And mine too. Yeah, so it's kind of like, we're not really entirely sure what to say, but we'll figure something out. So, um, well, let's just say, well, I, I guess we can start with Ashley's story, if, do you mind sharing? Uh, okay. Well, Where so like, you? I'll start, like, I'll give you a little description. So like she was engaged to actually that might ruin it because that's like your whole story. <laughs> okay. Let's just say she was with a man for a certain amount of time and then she'll explain. <laughs> Before that, I was with Melinda. Yeah. Well, she didn't say names. <laughs> she okay. didn't say names. Uh, I don't know. We were. She was with a girl that happened to be we'll my just friend. We'll bleep that out. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway. So. Okay. Yeah. So. In October of 2005, I was with this girl for only two weeks, and even though it was only two weeks, I thought that she was the one, because I was naive, and I didn't really know her that well. But after she dumped me, because she said she was confused, and that she liked this guy that I don't know what to believe anymore, but who cares. Um, well, I met this guy, John, and started going out. What? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> after a year of dating him, he proposed to me, and then I said yes. And in April of 2007, I started living with him. Well, I, he knew that I was bi, and I knew or thought I was bi. And eventually, I just started having more feelings for women. And though I wasn't cheating on John, I wasn't thinking of a specific woman. You mean of the guy? Uh, what? <laughs> you said John, so I don't know. I kind of oh, probably have to. Oh, I have to bleep out names. Whatever. Well, uh, it probably doesn't matter. He probably won't um, say Can we switch sides? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Alright, now. Well, anyway. Alright, that's better. Because, like, I was I knew weird. that I really liked women, and I wasn't sure how long I would last with John. I mean, that guy I was with. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I don't think it matters um, if you say it, so. So, one day I went to an Indigo Girls and Melissa Farrick concert, and some of the songs really hit home. Uh, basically I realized that what I really wanted was a relationship with someone who could be there for me emotionally and, <laughs> and that I didn't really like guys at all other than to be friends with. And then other issues were like you didn't want kids and he really did and yeah. That's all these other things. Too. Yeah, that, that was like a major... So I decided to break up with him that night. I called him, and I know it sounds kind of corny to call someone to say you're breaking up with them, but I pretty much didn't actually say that I was, but I did, because I said, well, what if I am just gay? And I never wanted to hurt his feelings, but ultimately, whose feelings would I living for in the end if I just stayed with him. In the end it would be like more like you'd have more trouble living with that if you were with him. And just the longer you're in a relationship like that it's just not good. But um yeah, I was there the night that she like started breaking up with him or whatever. I'm not gonna do hand quotes because they're corny, but <laughs> yeah, she like that night that she made the phone call I was there and stuff because it was right after the concert and she was like dropping me off. And um 
Like, I know it wasn't just like a, some stupid thing, it was like she was serious and everything. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> I'm getting like, I mean we're getting emotional, so let's uh, what else? Let's, let's, that was a good hmm. intro vlog or whatever, or intro to the vlog. So that's like a little background on her life so far, whatever, and then there's just me, you know? <laughs> Yeah. But you, you, you knew for a while. Oh yeah, I've known for like, I mean, technically I didn't come out until, like, start coming out until freshman year of high school, and I'm a senior now, so, but, um, still that seems like, it, looking back, it, I've known for like a long time, because like, I don't know, I'd be in like, uh, like let's say in middle school or something, I'd want to be close to like, these certain girls and stuff like that. Like,